Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Secondary growth in extra stellar region. Secondary growth takes place in extra stellar region due to the activity of cork, cork cambium. The cork cambium is also known as uh, phylogen and extra stellar cambium. The cells of the cork cambium are rectangular. The cork cambium arises from the hypodermis or from the outer layer of the cortex because they become meristematic. Corcambium is also formed in the form of a single layer during it forms a secondary tissue in cortical region. The corcambium also divides periclinally it forms some cells towards the outside and some cells towards the inside cortex. Thus, the cells formed towards the outside their middle lamella is subarized. Due to this, these cells become dead. These cells are known as cork or Phlegm. Those the cells are formed towards the inside or differentiated into parenchyma and main contain chloroplast. These are called secondary cortex or phylloderm. Phylogen, phylum, and phylloderm are collectively known as periderm. It means the entire secondary tissue in the cortex is known as periderm. Cork is formed in high quantity and secondary cortex in is in less quantity because the activity of cork cambium is more towards outside. The highest cavity activity of cork cambium is in winter means in autumn season. Ring of cork cambium remains living only for one year. Each year a new cambium is formed below the peri previous cambium. This new cambium is derived from the secondary cortex or phylloderm. All these tissues which occurs outside the cork cambium are collectively termed as uh, Rightidome. The rightidome includes cork and tissues which become dead due to the present pressure of cork. Most of the cells in a phelum are dead, but some of places living cells are also found. Seberin is not deposited in these places. These places are known as lenticels, and lenticels appear on the outer surface of the plant either in small points or in the form of areas of protuberance. Lenticels are made up of scattered group of living cells. Usually, they are formed below the stomata. These cells are known as complementary cells and complementary or complementary tissue. Functions of lenticels It takes place the exchange of gases between the plant and atmosphere. Rows are arranged either in vertical or longitudinal of lenticels may occur opposite in medullary rays, facilitating the free exchange of gases. Transpiration that takes place through the lenticels is known as lenticular transpiration and advantageous roots on cutting originate from the living cells of lenticels in vegetative process. Lenticels Lenticels are found in most of the woody trees but absent in woody climbers. Lenticels are mainly found on woody stems and they are near found on leaves. Lenticels are present in all over the plant body. They are also present on fruits. If lenticels are blocked, then root will die first due to the lack of food. Bark There are two views about the bark. Let us see. Old view All the tissue situated outside the crock cambium is called bark. According to old view, bark includes only dead tissues. Modern view. All the tissues situated outside the vascular cambium, it is called bark. According to modern view, bark includes both living and dead tissues. Bark has two parts, outer layer of bark, it is called rigidity dome and inner layer of bark, it is called secondary flow. If complete bark of tree is removed, then plant becomes dead due to the excessive water loss. If the bark is removed in the form of a ring at the base of main stem, then the root will die first due to the lack of food.